everyone, it's Anya from Divi Lover and this time I would like to talk to you about Divi Global Defaults, how to use it, why I think it's an awesome feature and most importantly what happens to your existing content when you decide to assign global styles to a module. I also have a nice freebie for you so let's get to it. Okay, so what are the Divi uh, Builder defaults? As you can see, I have a fresh uh, new page here with a single text module and free heading uh, inside. If I go to the design tab, the default values are the grayed out ones. And what I would like to address first is the text uh, sizes. The, my default value is 14 pixels here, but this can be different on your DV website. And the reason behind that is in your theme customizer settings. I have my theme customizer opened here. And uh, if I go to general typography settings, these are the uh, DV default values. The fresh installation of DV would have these exact values. The body text size is set to 14. I can change that here. And header text size is set to 30. And this applies to H1s, the header level one. If I increase this value, each heading level size will be different. So let's see what are the current heading uh, sizes, default sizes. For H1 it's 30 pixels, H2 it's 26 and H3 it's 22. So if I change my header text size to 40 and body to 16 and publish the changes, my builder defaults will be different as well. When I refresh this page here and discard that, go back to the settings. Now my uh, body text size default value is 16 and uh, heading sizes, H1 is 40 and H2 is still 26. H3 is still 22. But in reality, the default is not really 26. It's actually 30 something. You can see that uh, when I move the slider, the 27, for example, is actually smaller than the default uh, 26. Like I said, in reality it's 30 something, not 26. So to save yourself uh, some frustration, it's probably a good idea to um, not make any changes in the theme customizer, leave the font, uh, the header text size uh, as a 30 pixels as it uh, originally was. So now if I save my settings here and uh, refresh my page, now my uh, DV Builder defaults should show the um, correct value uh, as uh, the, the grayed out value. Let's see, now H2 font size shows 26 pixels and there's no jump when I move uh, the slider. So that's the correct uh, default value. Okay, so if I would like to use the global defaults feature in, in a builder, what I would do at the beginning, I would set my uh, heading the way I like them. Uh, I will choose my font and especially I would make sure my font sizes are uh, nice and different for tablet and uh, phone. It's probably a good practice to style each heading level from H1 to H6. Decide on your font family, font size, make it smaller for uh, mobile devices um, 
and this way when you set the these font styles as your defaults every time you add a new text module you don't won't need to worry about choosing different uh, values for your design options and uh, you'll make sure that your website has a consistent uh, look across all the pages. So I'm just going to do H1, 2 and 3 uh, as an example. I will decrease the font size for tablet and for phone. And I will also change my uh, body text uh, font. Let's say a serif font like Laura and let's make it a bit lighter. Okay. Now let me save the module settings and show you how to uh, make it global. So if I right click on the module, I can choose to make styles default and the builder will ask me if I'm sure because this will affect all text module across the entire site. So yes, I'm sure. And now every time I insert a new text module, it will use the styles I choose as my defaults. So if I add a heading to, it will have my Montserrat font and the font size I chose. You can also always edit uh, your default settings. You can access them by clicking on this globe icon here and this model window with a dark header shows you all the uh, controls, all the uh, elements you can edit. And each change here will change every text module on your uh, website, giving it nice consistent uh, look. But let's say I don't like that border anymore. I can actually reset my uh, global uh, settings. If I right click, click on any control, I can reset uh, global styles. It's possible to reset each value separately or reset the entire module uh, default styles. And each time you make a change and want to save the uh, global settings, the builder will ask you if you're sure you want to do that. So now my modules are uh, back as, it, uh, as they were. Now I want to show you um, how that global feature works when you already have some content on your website. So you already have some modules that uh, use different um, design options. So let me change some settings in this text module. I will choose a different font, different font style and also different color for H1s, H2s and H3 uh, headings. Georgia font, italic and purple. I will also change the background color for this module. Let's say something gray. And when there is a background, we need some spacing. So 15 pixels on each side. Yeah. Okay. So let's say this is a module I already have somewhere on my page. And now if I decide to change my text modules globally, I can access the global settings for a module. And when I change my heading font, it changes on this other module, but my purple heading with Georgia font stays as it was. A different thing uh, when it comes to font size, when I increase the font size, it changes the purple heading as well because I didn't set any font size uh, for that module. I left it as default. So any value that's been set in your existing uh, modules won't get overwritten with your uh, default setting. But if there wasn't anything set, for example, the letter spacing on H3, 
it was set, uh, left at the default. When I change the global value, it changes on this existing module as well. We can always edit each module separately. So when I uh, change the heading to color on this module, it will change only here. Um, but making styles default doesn't mean that every text module will look the same because when I make this default, it won't change how my header tool looks on this first purple uh, module. And I think what that tells us is that it's a great feature to use on a new project to style your modules in advance, but it should be used with caution on existing websites. And one last thing I would like to show you is the portability. So when you export a layout, it will export all the global elements. And when you are importing a layout, you can choose to apply the defaults to your website or not. And that brings me to the freebie I have for you. I've created page layouts and uh, pre-styled almost every DV module and assigned these styles as globals. So you can download the JSON file and import these global defaults to your next DV project. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. Feel free to get the free global defaults pack I made and I'll see you next time.